you take a sip of your cappuccino while ordering a flying taxi. After hopping in, you check your health in a special app and glance out of the window. There, a bunch of robo-snails are hovering over the river, forming a bridge. Must be some ongoing repairs. The craziest part? That's the reality we're already living in. Let's dig for the details. Meet Kawasaki Corleo, an off-road beast with four robotic legs that can tackle just about any terrain. It was designed for tough off-road adventures. Plus, it could help in search and rescue or dangerous inspections. The robot steps over obstacles like a mechanical horse with a brain. Each leg moves on its own, so the Corleo can walk, trot, and even hop over rough terrain. The back legs adjust separately from the front, soaking up bumps and shocks. So you stay steady and comfy, even when you're climbing stairs or scrambling over rocks. You can keep your eyes on the trail ahead and not on your feet. And those legs end in what Kawasaki calls hooves. Rubber pads split left and right to grip uneven ground. That means the robot can handle everything from grass to gravel to rubble. It basically doesn't need an actual road. The Corleo doesn't run on gas or batteries. It's powered by a hydrogen engine. It generates electricity for each leg and spits out nothing but water vapor, making it totally zero emission. How cool is that? The hydrogen canister sits on the back of the robot. It allows you a better range and faster refueling than most battery setups. Another thing that sets the Corleo apart is how you control it. There are no buttons, levers, or joysticks. It simply reads your body. A digital panel shows everything you need, hydrogen levels, route guidance, and balance. And at night, it projects glowing markers right onto the ground ahead, lighting your path. That's a game changer for riding in fog, darkness, or tricky terrain. But however convenient and comfy such a robot may sound, you shouldn't forget about physical activity. It's crucial for your well-being. The thing is, most people don't really know what actually affects their health. Something like 92% of us have no clue about the main factors. That's what a next-generation platform like Kamalama is trying to fix. Its goal is simple. Give people clear, science-backed health insights so they can make smarter choices, live longer, and feel their best. This nonprofit gives people free access to online health assessments, which are all based on real science. The idea is to help you understand what really influences your life expectancy and overall condition. Everything they do is grounded in research and powered by AI. So the recommendations you get aren't random, they're actually evidence-based. Kamalama pulls together a huge amount of global health data, research libraries, and AI models, all to figure out which factors are the strongest science-backed predictors of longevity. Everything you see in your report is based on real research, and you can even check out the studies yourself. In other words, it's a revolutionary online health tool that gives you a free, personalized report based on your lifestyle and health stats. It estimates your life expectancy, biological age, and potential health risks. It works like this. You answer a short series of questions, and the system uses AI to analyze your answers. Then it gives you a detailed report with tailored recommendations. It even suggests which blood tests might be worth doing. So you basically have a data-driven, science-based way to see how your daily habits could be affecting your long-term health. And now, I'll take it up a notch. Imagine you're about to check all this health data. So you take a rolled up smartphone out of your pocket and unfurl it with a single flick. Once you're done, it rolls back like nothing ever happened. Or perhaps you don't even need to imagine it. Flexible displays are our new reality. Such screens can transform folding and rolling with zero loss in function. Now, give yourself a second to take it in. We're witnessing the dawn of devices that can literally change shape to fit your life. Not long ago, this was science fiction. Now it's becoming the first step toward a world where your tech can adjust to your lifestyle. And it's not just a niche gimmick anymore. According to Grandview Research, the global flexible display market was worth $13.5 billion in 2022, and it's expected to skyrocket by 2030. What's a flexible display anyway? Basically, it's a screen that can bend, fold, or roll without throwing a tantrum and shattering, unlike the glass on your old phone that cracked the second it looked at the pavement. 
These magic screens are usually made with flexible materials like plastic substrates, OLEDs, which are organic light-emitting diodes for the nerds in the back, or other super-thin tech that keeps everything working even when the screen changes shape. Now, OLEDs make their own light, so no backlight is needed. Thin film encapsulation means that ultra-thin layers protect the screen from water and air while staying bendy. Flexible substrates used instead of glass mean that the screen sits on bendy materials like polyamide. Even cooler, researchers are now experimenting with ultra-thin glass that's strong but still bendable. But how about all the electronics inside? Everything is bendable. The circuits themselves can stretch and flex, so the screen keeps working even after thousands of bends. Tiny wiring and micro-machining make it possible. And finally, special sticky layers hold everything together. Nano-adhesives make screens more durable and longer-lasting. Okay, admit it, bendable phones are pretty impressive. But how about robo-animals? Some smart people were watching orcas hunting together, bumblebees swarming over flowers, a flock of birds flying in perfect formation. Inspired by this, they decided to make robot snails. Most robots get tested inside labs, but real-world terrain is messy. And normal swarm robots usually look up at just one point, which limits what they can do. But robo-snails can climb walls and squeeze through gaps. That's why they can be used for search and rescue in tricky terrain, environmental monitoring, or basically anywhere humans or regular robots can't reach. When free mode is on, they roll along on lightweight rubber tracks, like solo explorers. And once it's in strong mode, they basically Velcro themselves together using vacuum-style suckers to help each other over tricky obstacles. Two or even more robots can link up to cross ditches, gaps, or anything else that gets in the way. Foldable phones, robotic horses, snail bridges… What else does the nearest future have up its sleeve? Well, flying cars are actually happening. Several companies are launching their first real-life models. And those aren't just cars that flap their wings. Nope, they're packed with crazy tech like eVTOL, which is a fancy term for vertical takeoff and electric propulsion that makes traditional traffic jams look prehistoric. First up, Aleph Aeronautics Model A. Based in sunny California, it's already taking pre-orders at $300,000. Yep, 300 grand to skip traffic and probably look like a Bond villain while doing it. Vertical takeoff? Check. Electric power? Check. FAA certified? Double check. It looks like personal air travel will be available in your city by 2026. Next, the Xpeng X2. That's a tiny two-seater from China built for city streets. It can take off and land vertically, hits around 80 miles per hour, and is compact enough to weave between buildings. Xpeng is already eyeing Europe, so maybe one day you'll be commuting above Paris traffic while sipping your Americano. And let's not forget the Lilium Jet. It's an eco-friendly and speedy flying vehicle. Zero emissions, over 180 miles on a single flight, and an electric vectored thrust system that lets it take off vertically. Its top speed is 186 miles per hour. At the same time, it's way quieter than your neighbor's leaf blower. FAA and European certifications are almost ready, so Lilium might soon be your go-to for urban and regional air trips. So forget about what you knew about the future. It seems to have shown up early. Quad-legged robots, bendy screens, flying cars. Living in 2025 is basically living in sci-fi. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.